This is Thavius Beck. Right now, I'd like to talk to you about a brand new feature in Bitwig 5 that really allows you to do much more with clip launching, and this is extremely useful and fun when it comes to live performance. I've done a lot of performances using a clip launcher and a controller that lets me launch clips. Right here, I have the Launchpad Pro Mark III, courtesy of Novation, it's a wonderful controller, and I've got a bunch of clips sitting here in Bitwig, and uh, I want to perform them in some sort of way. Now, typically what would happen is I would launch a clip, for example, there's some drum clip here, Let's play. And when I want to launch another clip, I could press that clip in the track. The next clip starts, the previous one stops, and that's pretty much it, all right? And I've never really considered, well, what would happen if maybe I want something different to occur when I release the clip? Well, now that's a possibility. We can do this for individual clips. We can also do this on a project-wide basis. Beyond that, we have a whole set of alternate clip launching modes that we can use. And if we go to Bitwig, you can look over here in the inspector panel. For every individual clip that I select, I see an area here where we have main clip launcher settings and alternate clip launcher settings. The cool thing about this is that instead of setting this on a clip by clip basis, I can also go over here and set this up on a project basis. So all my clips will follow whatever behavior that I choose. Now, what makes this so interesting and what I'm gonna demonstrate is the fact that I can have my main behavior, which right now each clip will launch every bar. Uh, each clip will start at the beginning. And when I let go, it'll just keep doing what it's doing. But I have an alternate action over here as well. And I can toggle between this using MIDI. On my Launchpad Pro, I can just hold Shift. For my alternate action, uh, the quantization right now is going to be off, so I can just jump immediately. Uh, but the launch mode is not going to start at the beginning. We're going to use a legato. So the clips will pick up uh, in their natural play position. So nothing's going to fall out of sync. And I can see here, when I release a clip, it's going to return to the previous clip that was playing. So again, when I want to use the alternate modes, I can simply hold shift. So since we have an idea of what we can do, let's hear this all in action. 